Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a great tutorial for you. We're going to install Hyper-V on Windows Home Edition. You usually need a Pro version to do this, but I'll show you a workaround that's perfect for anyone look to dive into the world of virtualization right now from their home PC. Don't forget to hit that like button and check out the full guide linked in the description below. First things first, let's make sure your computer is ready. We need to check if a virtualiza virtualization is enabled. Uh, if it's not, you might need to switch it on in your BIOS. Uh, I'll quickly show you how to check this using command prompt. Uh, so you need to open command prompt. Type in system info and press enter. And then you need to look for virtualization enabled in firmware. And if it says no, you will need to enable this in BIOS settings. Uh, in my case, because I'm using this demo, uh, this in a Hyper-V virtual machine to demonstrate this, it's already detecting a hypervisor. Um, but if you see yes, you're okay to go. Then next up, we need to grab the script from the website and save it as a bat file. And I'll show you just how to do this. So we copy the text from the website. We paste it in a notepad. And we will save it as, for example, enable hyperv.bat. Save it somewhere that's uh, easy for you to find it. For example, the desktop. Now we right click on the batch file and say run as administrator. And we let it do the script do its magic. After the script is finished, it's time for a quick reboot. So we press yes. After your PC is back up, we will turn on the Hyper-V features. Uh, we will do this with a simple PowerShell command. So I'll show you each step so you can follow along easily. Uh, we also need to restart the computer one more time after this. So the easiest way is just to open uh, PowerShell, do it as an admin. You can copy this command. You can paste it in PowerShell press enter and now we need to restart the PC one more time so that's it you pretty much have Hyper-V running on your Windows 10 uh, home machine remember for the best performance uh, to have at least 8 gigabytes of memory and also an SSD uh, that because an SSD can really boost your performance and allow you to run multiple virtual machines uh, smoothly. If you are excited about what you have learned today and want to explore more, uh, why not start by creating your own virtual machine template? Also keep your eyes peeled for a beginner's workshop on Hyper-V I'm putting together. It's going to be awesome, especially if you're just getting started. Thanks for tuning in. If you have enjoyed this video or learned something new, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and share this video with your friends, and catch you all in the next video.